Hi all, good morning. Uh, today topic, let us discuss about the subunity transfer in our cloud. So before we discuss the subunity transfer, let us discuss what is mean by subinventory. Subinventory is a nothing but you know unique uh, or physically or sub, uh, logically separation of you know uh, inventory. Uh, material inventory like you know where we are uh, storing in separate uh, material like you know uh, raw material we can store in sub one area and uh, finished good we will you know, store in one area and uh, defect parts we can store in some areas so in that way just we can segregate that you know some subset of that uh, inventory we can say that okay and uh, that let us uh, discuss about the subinventory transfer. Subinventory transfer is nothing but you know transfer one subinventory material from the one subinventory to another subinventory within the inventory organization. Okay. So let us see how we can uh, do this one in application. See after login this, then go supply execution inventory. Click the task. There is a task here. It is a uh, create subunity task. Here, just select organization. Here, I am selecting 001 organization. In which organization we need to do the subunity transfer. Then here select the subunity transfer. Space okay. then click the top add some plus symbol for adding the item let's see what are the items we are having Yeah, we have this many item. Let just I'm selecting this one. Yes, double zero one double zero. Click the item. See here below, right? So if you see here, right, I just it will show what is the on hand available in this zero zero one organization. It will show. Okay, so if you select. The sub inventory here. Let's say I'm selecting this one in the stores. There is one sub inventory. So all 50 quantity in stores. Let's say if I select this the stage. See, it's showing this only uh, in stage uh, on hand availability. Okay. So then I'm trying to sub uh, transfer from the stores to this is from sub inventory and. Uh, Let's say I'm going to submit from comp completed sub inventory. Okay, so here is the on hand we can enter. Let's say I'm entering this two quantity. If you want to enter any reason code, we can enter the reason code since it's optional. I'm not enter I'm entering here. And let's say this item is you know uh, locator enabled or uh, 
locator enabled then uh, we need to enter here the locator va values okay Lo locator details and if it's you know uh, serial or lot enabled then uh, this this uh, button right they sorry this uh, button or this one it should be enabled then we need to click here and we need to record that you know we can enter the lot or serial number details okay then uh, click the subject what is the source sub inventory here sub stores and uh, destination sub inventory is the complete see here success let's say how we can see uh either this one completed the transactions or not then we can uh, here again you can click here and we can see here in review completed transaction task okay just click the review completed transaction and this is the organization 001 and item is as double zero one double zero okay and what is the transaction type sub inventory transfer okay. sub inventory transfer today only right just date range today just click the search see here we are able to see the transaction right so here there is a sub from stores to see here uh, negative balance showing means we are issuing from this sub inventory right that's why it's showing this negative balance and it, re it no it no received in a completed sub inventory that's why it's showing this you know received so here it is a positive quantity showing okay so this is the transaction type and uh, what is the transaction date today only right this is the transaction date and what is the transfer of sub inventories to that and what is the organization this is all the information if we can see here okay i hope uh, it helped you thank you